Today, we are filing a petition for executive clemency on behalf of Brendan Dassey. This petition asks Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers and his Pardons Advisory Board to grant Brendan either a pardon or a commutation based on Brendan's actual innocence as well as the extreme length of his sentence. They lied over and over again about evidence telling Brendan they already knew what happened when in fact they didn't. And one detective kept touching him, panning his knee gently at first and then harder as the interrogation went on. Be honest with us. Be honest with us. We already know it's okay. We're going to help you through this, all right? But even while he has grown up behind bars, Brendan still remains a simple, even childlike person. At age 29, he regularly asks me to send him pictures of angels to color. A few weeks later, Brendan sends them back, beautifully colored, and we hang them in our offices. The rules that Governor Evers has issued say nothing about restricting his ability to issue commutations. Uh, a commutation is the shortening of a sentence, and so that's one option on the table still for Brendan Dassey. And as for his rules regarding pardons, those rules say nothing about the case of someone who is actually innocent, like Brendan Dassey. When you have an innocent person sentenced to life behind prison, that's exactly the situation that the clemency power was tailor-made to address.